Next up, Sharmila. All right. Um, Justin and I are actually uh, good buddies. I'm on the board of his company. I can tell you that stuff is great. So if you're working with the dupe, definitely look at it. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk uh, about how to bring data together from diverse sources. One of the big things that ClearStory is focused on is exactly this problem, which is, as many of you know, there's uh, volumes of data growing across all your private repositories today. I won't belabor this point, but if you have a lot of legacy databases in place, data warehouses, those are probably exploding as you put more data into them. And then as you look at the new big data platforms that have emerged, uh, platforms like Hadap, Cloudera, other Hadoop distributions, there just continues to be more corporate data that will continue to be stored. Um, so the problem that arises here is that across a lot of your organizations, you're going to end up with many islands of data and you're going to get to a point where you have to figure out how do you actually then bring it together so you can actually drive what we call a converged analysis. Um, in addition to all the private sources of data and your own corporate data, whether it's coming from data warehouses, RDBMSs, big data platforms, or even Excel spreadsheets, there's another phenomena happening which you're, some of you here may be very well aware of, which is that there are about 8,000 open data APIs available today on the web. And if you look back across um, about five years ago, there were probably about 100 or so open data APIs on the web. So in the last five, six, uh, seven years, there's been a massive explosion and it continues to grow. So what are some of these? You know, they include things like Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google, um, various different uh, open APIs that you can find to YouTube, so on and so forth, not just on the social side, but as well as a lot of other um, sources like Netflix, for example, also opening up the APIs. And what's interesting is you look across all these thousands of uh, sources out there, there's a lot of very valuable and interesting data, but very hard to tap into. And the reason for that is because every single one of these has its own unique APIs and has a very particular way that you can actually get to the data, which makes it very difficult for most corporations to figure out how to actually get to it and how to bring it all together, because you have to know the nuance of getting to, uh, inter interfacing with each of these unique sources. Um, interestingly enough, if you look across all the external data available and some of the most recent uh, uh, data points around this, only about 3% of the information across the digital universe is actually tagged and ready to use. And in addition to that, today only half percent of that is actually used for analysis. The point here being that you've got hordes of data accumulating across all your corporate sources. You're adding more to it as you bring in big data platforms. And in addition to that, in parallel, there's this massive growth of data that's externally available across the web, very little of which can be easily accessed today because of how difficult it is to actually get, understand all the different interfaces to each one of them and the fact that it's not readily usable. Um, this is, uh, kind of leaves us with some of the biggest challenges we see companies facing, one of which is how do you actually intelligently converge all this data from various different sources, both corporate sources as well as external sources. And when we talk about bringing data together, it doesn't mean just allowing a user to uh, throw it into one system, but how do you actually intelligently reconcile some of the differences between the data sources as you put them, pull them all in and take care of the, some of the burden associated with reconciling the different dimensions of data across all these sources. So adding some intelligence to how data is converged and brought together as you pull private and external sources together. Uh, once you do that, how do you make it possible for users and specifically analysts, business users to very quickly iterate across an analysis to get to an insight that they're looking for? Um, what this means is that the whole user model in terms of how to actually access the data and, and iterate across the analysis needs to change from where we've been over the last 10, 15 years, which is a very rigid approach where you have a predefined data model and a BI tool that is then hooked onto a relational source. Um, thirdly, how do you make this whole process dead simple for business users? So you hear a lot about the democratization of data. 
but reality is that there's still a lot of innovation to be done around making it very simple for business users to tap across many different sources, both internal and external, and get to what they need to see quickly without necessarily having to rely on IT for every single one of the, um, the analysis that they need to run. And finally, what I think we all recognize and need to recognize is that in addition to the amount of data that's exploding across corporate and external sources and the need to iterate um, across it very quickly, the other uh, phenomena we see is that there are more distributed data teams around corporations, so you're not all located in one spot sitting next to each other, but you've got a lot of people across many different regions in a single company that are basically trying to drive to insights across the same data set. And how do you actually make it easy for these teams to work collaborative, collaboratively to actually arrive at an insight and run through an analysis? So um, what that then leads to is the need for a very fundamental change in terms of how analysis across structured and unstructured data is, is done, where in the last generation, as I said, it was primarily a world of structured data, relational sources, very conclusive dashboards, which was what the old generation of BI was all about, um, where it was more of a, what we call a rear view mirror approach to doing an analysis, so you basically built a dashboard, you were looking at you know, something that had already happened and then you were possibly doing some predictive analysis on top of that. And finally, um, it relied on very small scale uh, sampling of data as opposed to being able to look at the whole data set. So where things are going and where we really need to move is a place where users can actually now get data from any variety of sources both your corporate sources with, of course, the right permissions to get to those corporate sources, as well as readily get to and easily get to all the public data that I talked about earlier without having to know all the specifics behind every interface to every source, be able to converge this data together to drive what we call a hypothesis-driven type of exploration. So you don't know exactly what you're going to come up with and what you're going to see, but what you have is a hunch or a hypothesis that there's data here that I need to look at that may have the answer to something that we believe is happening, but I, got to get, I have to get to the data to understand exactly what's happening. And in order to do that, you have to be able to converge this data together in an intelligent way, do it very quickly, iterate on it very quickly, and be able to allow users to then actually turn and augment the analysis fast. So this whole notion of changing the whole model to more of a top-down approach where you can actually access data easily, drive a hypothesis-driven exploration, and interact with the data until you reach an insight is where a lot of the new needs are as it relates to big data analysis and one of the fundamental things that ClearStory focuses on. So uh, in, in terms of forward thinking, where we believe uh, uh, things are going as it relates to big data analytics, is the need to uh, enable smart data convergence as you bring sources together without leaving everything to um, an IT person or data architect to cobble together, but rather bringing some int intelligence to the sources themselves, especially when it comes to external sources, and introducing basically a new model that allows for very iterative discovery, data exploration, and fast analysis. Um, what customers are looking for today and those that we are working with, they want to see it quickly. They want to be able to measure results quickly. They want to be able to respond quickly and then very quickly augment and improve on an analysis. And what that means is either you're brought, bringing more data into the mix or you're improving upon the analysis with the data that you've already pulled in to actually drive to the insight that you're after. This is really a cycle of, uh, a continuous cycle of finding the right data combining it in an intelligent way and then continually refining it till you get to an insight. So the notion of fine, combine, refine is a constant cycle and the new tools and what ClearStory is doing is exactly this to allow you to actually get to an insight in a more iterative manner than you could before. Um, if you look at uh, one of the issues that also play into this as I talked about earlier, is how you then allow distributed data teams to collaborate on an insight and actually arrive at the answer because you may have someone sitting in a certain location that has certain domain knowledge 
the other person in another location may not, and you want them to be able to bring their knowledge into the analysis so you can drive to an insight quicker. So having a system that actually facilitates this is critically important as we start working with larger volumes of data, more diverse data, and people who are sitting in various different locations who each have different domain knowledge regarding the data that they're looking at. So um, the problem we've had so far is, you know, only about 37% of analysts actually uh, arrive, uh, have a gut feeling about how to make decisions, and a lot of decisions are actually made on, the, on a gut feeling or without enough transparency into how someone arrived at the, at the inside of the decision. So solving this problem also is part of what the new platform of analysis is all about. Um, so going back exactly to what we're focused on, ClearStory is specifically about converging data from the web, from private sources and premium data sources to drive what we call a converged insight. And what this means is uh, allowing the user to easily find the data from each of these different sources that they might want to tap into. Typically, you go into it knowing what sources, of course, you want to tap into, but how do you actually access it and make access easy? And how do you actually find interesting data that's external data to bring into the mix? So finding data, easily combining it, intelligently combining data from public and, and external sources, and then interactively and collaboratively exploring this data until you arrive at, the, at, the, at an insight. Um, and what we call a converged insight is specifically about multi-source analysis where data is being accessed from multiple internal and external sources. Um, specifically, uh, what sources are we talking about here? So when you look across the uh, premium data sources and web sources, often it's market intelligence data, it's social data, it's panel data, survey data, pretty much anything that you are, that lives outside of your organization where there is either an external um, API that's publicly available to get to it, or it could be a premium data source, or it could be social data that you want to bring into the mix, and your organization doesn't necessarily have the skill set to understand exactly what the specific interfaces are to each of these. So readily available access to premium and web data, uh, merging into that private and corporate data from sources such as the RDBMS, data warehouses, Hadoop, platforms like Adapt, uh, clickstream data, web log files, et cetera. And then finally, bringing into the mix, if one needed to, public data as well that's freely available public data, such as census data, could be weather data, could be other sources as well. So uh, buffering, again, the user from the complexity of all the nuances of the sources, but in focusing on making it easy to bring these sources together, conduct a multi-source analysis, drive an analysis that's very, very iterative and very collaborative and arrive at the insight that, that one's looking for. Um, what this requires under the hood is, of course, um, terabytes of distributed processing, uh, being able to handle multiple data types uh, when you access different sources like Hadoop, relational sources and the various external sources and in each, each of them with their unique APIs. And then finally, harmonizing dimensions across them where that's possible and where one can actually do it automatically to remove some of the burden from the end user. Um, so that's a quick snapshot of the type of sources and types of data that ClearStory is focused on bringing together. Um, like I said, we're both a back-end system that drives the processing of all this as well as uh, delivering a front-end that makes the process of finding, combining, and refining very, very easy to do. So a business user, business analyst, can get going with the system and arrive at an insight very quickly. Okay? Um, so with that, just to close this out, uh, as we look at big data analysis moving forward, we think convergence of sor uh, data from multiple sources is critical. When you do this, how you harmonize that data is very key. Um, quickly iterating on analysis and insights and the many different mechanisms to do this that didn't exist in the past, and then finally bringing collaboration into the mix to help uncover insights faster than you could before. All right, um, so with that, I'll uh, turn it back to Matt for the rest of, uh, I think, the panel. Thank you very much.